hey, I'm making pork chops today, but Cuban style pork chops. So what I did was I started, I started with marinating four bone-in thin-cut pork chops. And I marinated it in a cup of orange juice, a half cup of lime juice, and a quarter cup of white vinegar. I put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, and I also put some of the orange and lime pieces in here, and you know. I'm gonna take this out, pat them dry, 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 because we have a dry rub that's gonna go. Before I do that, I'm gonna put my large skillet on medium heat, I want to sear it on one side and then put the pork chops in there and then let it cook down. So, got my marinated pork chops. A couple of y'all saw this on my Instagram page. I just put the picture on there, but I needed to show you how to do it. I got, I got a good little response from it. So, pork chops are out. This marinade is going night night. No longer need that. Don't use that. Don't use that. And we're gonna have like a little mojo sauce that's gonna go on top of it. Yep. You're gonna wanna do that. You're gonna like this. So I'm patting these down super dry. As dry as you can get them. Because they're gonna go in that hot skillet and if they're wet, it's gonna crank up on you. It's gonna splash all over you. You don't want that. Okay, my pork chops are nice and dry. Um, I meant to tell you, with that marinade, you can use that marinade on chicken. I'm using it on pork chops or on fish. You can grill the meat. I can't grill today, it's raining in Atlanta. But you can just use it and put it in the refrigerator at least for one hour though. Um, anything less than that, it won't you know, get into the meat. So, my dry rub. It is my dry rub. In here is a tablespoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of salt, two teaspoons of ground cumin, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of onion powder, and one and a half tablespoon of dried oregano. You probably have all of this in your pantry, so don't feel intimidated. And if you don't, go get it from the store for $1.99, if not less than that. So I'm gonna generously um, just season both sides of this and then throw it in my large skillet. In the skillet that's heating on medium high, I have three tablespoons of canola oil. Let's get it. Okay, my pan is on medium high with three tablespoons of canola oil. So, I seasoned my pork chops on both sides with our seats with this dry rub. Now you can use this technique for fish or chicken. So you can still marinate it in the refrigerator. You can use this dry rub. You can put it on the grill. My suggestion is if you put it on the grill, make the sauce on the side so you can just pour that sauce right on top of it. When it's done, you'll be a celebrity. So let's put our pork chop in. Yes, yes, indeed. We, I'm just gonna sear it on one side and then turn it down to a medium low. Cause I have more stuff that's going in here. But yeah, you wanna save this rub. Save this rub, store it. Cause you can use it for a lot of things. I even use it for veggie dishes. I mean, it's cool. I've sliced up to a red onion, like a half a medium red onion. And now I'm gonna slice up, or dice up, some garlic. Two cloves of garlic to do it while that's browning. That shouldn't take any more than like five or six minutes. So my pan got a little crowded, so I took one out after it was brown. The juices from that marinade, it caramelizes this. So this is not burnt, 
it just caramelized. I took my heat down to medium, and now we're gonna add some other goodness in here. Starting with the onion. So my onion goes in first. We're gonna give this a couple of minutes and then add the garlic afterwards, my chopped garlic. And the reason why I'm not adding in the garlic now is because it, it burns quicker. So you wanna just let these onions sweat down a little bit and then put the garlic in there. Okay, I put a lid on top of my pork chops with the onions until the onions cook down a little bit. But in the meanwhile, I have a sauce that I wanna put on it. And it's kinda of like, kinda of like a marinade sauce but a little different. So I have a fourth cup of orange juice, a fourth cup of white wine, and a fourth cup of lime juice. My limes. His thing. You buy these things and they can feel like a softball or baseball, right? Here's a cool trick. Pop them in the microwave, you'll get the most juice ever out of them. So it's a really good tip whenever you see these or whenever you buy these and they're so hard, just pop them in the microwave. Now you also want to watch it because if you stay, if they stay in there too long, they can explode. You don't want that. That happens. Yeah, you don't want that. Okay, I took those limes out of the microwave, and this is what I want to show you. It's warm, so be careful. I always put it in like a little bowl because the juice is gonna squeeze out. Cut it. And look at the juice you get. A good amount of juice. You get more of this lime when you throw it in the microwave for, I did for 30 seconds, but keep your eye on it. If it's still hard, do it in 10 second increments. Check that out. And just squeeze. I'm just gonna use a quarter cup of this. And it goes into my little sauce. That's pretty much it. That was two lines. Now the last thing is to add this to my pot. easy enough right just a couple of steps so but if you don't feel like making it message me hit me up maybe I can come to you if you're in the greater Atlanta area and I can you know make it for you I am a personal cook I'm also a caterer and a meal planner so if you need any of my needs let me know but um, that sauce is gonna reduce and get a little thick and you can just continue to pour it on top of that pork chop I'm gonna pair this with some um, black beans and white rice. So thank y'all for watching.